Well, the hit of the show is this incredible backdrop, but wow, look at these trees. These trees are phenomenal. And you know what the best part is, is that they store flat. Let me show you what I did. I actually did them on flat cardboard, just like this, and I'm able to fold them up and I'm able to store them. This makes the best tree ever. I made these in an earlier VBS and we saved them and here we get to pull them out again. So let me turn it over and show you a little bit more of what I did and how you can do it too. All right. So in order to do this, I cut a piece of cardboard in half longwise. So it was four feet wide and I simply, yeah, four feet wide, and I simply cut it down the middle in order to make it into two feet each. So two trees were made out of one sheet of cardboard, four by eight, double wall. It needs to be double wall, a little bit stronger, because if you do a single wall and you, and you start painting it and stuff, sometimes it bows, and you don't want that. So I went ahead and measured equal distances here, and then on the other side, I scored it. That means I cut it without cutting all the way through. Just scored it so I would be able to bend it back without it breaking in the seam. So I scored it back. All right, I did that in all four of them, and then I found the middle, and I scored across that, so that way it would now bend and be able to fold up in half. It's so much harder to store something that's eight foot tall, much easier if it's only four foot tall. Now it's time to add this wonderful bark to it. So what I did was I laid it on, the, on a table and with it, let me show you with just half of it. I laid it on a table and I began to take spray foam insulation and I just did a line going down. Now listen, it will grow and sometimes I stayed in a spot too long and it kind of bubbled up too much and that's okay. If you like that, do that. But just know that you can go pretty quickly and it will create those lines and it still expands. It expands for a while. So don't think it's gonna happen really quick. It keeps expanding. And so I made those long lines all the way and be very careful not to, to see if you can uh, stay away from covering up the cut line where you scored it because that's where you wanna be able to bend it open. Now, after it was all done, I went ahead and scored through the foam right here on the top so that way it would get down, back down to the cardboard and allowing it to open. This is the only place I had to go back and cut the actual foam. So let me open it up again and stand it up. I let it dry the best I could like overnight. And then after it was dry, I could start spray painting it. Please remember to do three colors. You wanna do a dark brown, a medium brown, a lighter brown, and I was careful just to keep spraying. If you wanna add some greens, blues, reds, oranges, all of that would be welcomed in this as you're spraying it. And then after you finish spraying it, be sure that you've opened it up enough where you can see where the cardboard is and be sure to give that a shot as well. You don't wanna be able to see too much of that. It helps disguise it. Now, when you're all done, you need to turn it upside down and spray it again because the undersides of all those bubbles don't always get the spray as well and you get a, a good coverage. Then when it's dry, you can just circle it around and let it stand. Even though it doesn't make a full circle, it's able to, to be as wide or as small as you want it to be. And it actually, even though it's not a circle, it gives the illusion that it is. So these trees are super easy to make. They take a little bit of time, but wow, what a great, a great thing just taking the time to do it. It doesn't cost too much. I think I used a couple of cans per a tree, so about one sheet of cardboard 
and about four cans of spray. Maybe it'll be less for you, I don't know, but I think you'll like the results.